Will this change behavior of Russians in London and in the United Kingdom? Is this going to change how you move about the greater London area? Gosh, it depends on which Russian you are. Uh, we saw yesterday, um, shortly after uh, May's statement, a man called Nikolai Glushkov, a uh, former associate of Boris Berezovsky, uh, was found dead. Um, the, the exact circumstances of uh, his death are, are still unknown, but it, it does look somewhat suspicious. Uh, so if you're on the wrong side of the Kremlin, um, you know, this may very well have been a message to you. But at the same time, this isn't necessarily a new development. Um, in fact, one of the initial retaliatory measures that the UK has announced is Amber Rudd, the Home Secretary, will be reopening the investigation into 14 prior suspicious deaths uh, of Russian nationals in the UK. Okay, what, how does this escalate? Does it escalate if, if Theresa May imposes sanctions or something against Russia? There, I know there was a rumor about Russia today. Does Russia then just take it or are there repercussions on the Russian side? Uh, there will absolutely be a response uh, from the Russian side. Um, there is a presidential election on uh, Sunday and uh, while we don't expect this to be competitive, uh, Putin will not want to do anything that might depress turnout or hit his numbers in any way. He's looking for a strong turnout and a, a strong vote and there's only so much you can massage the numbers. Uh, in terms of Russian retaliatory responses, it will depend on what is actually done. Um, there has been talk of uh, denying access to Russian businessmen, yeah. delisting companies from the stock exchange, etc. But if you see something like uh, a ban on RT, which is being discussed, the most likely Russian response is what uh, Foreign Ministry spokesman person Zakharova said yesterday, that there will be a blanket ban on UK uh, journalistic outfits in, the, uh, in Russia.